The Tasmanian Archive and Heritage Office preserves Tasmania's memory by collecting significant state and private records and publications in all formats. One of the most challenging to preserve is film and other audiovisual formats, including video. The largest collection of films we have originally came from the now defunct Tasmanian Film Corporation. This collection has thousands of items, but I'll let their own promotional team from the 70s explain some of what it contains. No, this is not a cigarette commercial. A commercial, yes, but one for ourselves, Tasfilm. We make films. Our activities are highly diverse. We don't specialise. You name it, we make it. Industrial safety films, educational, technical, tourist, cultural, Newsreel. And of course, television commercials. A small but important part of our collection are the films we receive from private donations. These give a special glimpse into Tasmanian lives, showing scenes from family gatherings, playing sports or other recreational activities. If you have a film that you think would help us preserve Tasmania's memory, please contact us on 61 65 5538 or email taho at education.tas.gov.au. Film and magnetic tapes like videotapes have special storage needs. To ensure that these are catered for, a purpose-built film storage vault with climate controls was constructed at our Berrydale repository. Generally, films come in their original containers. These can be mostly 8mm and 9.5mm for home movies, and 16 and 35mm from organisations. Preserving films is resource intensive and it can be a long time from when we first receive it until it is available to view. The first step is for our conservation officer Carl to check its physical condition. He will look for shrinkages and breakages in the film. He might smell it to see if it has vinegar syndrome. This is one of the worst hazards for the long term preservation of film. If needed, a basic clean and repair will be performed to allow the film to be wound onto a projector. The next step is to see if it contains content important to Tasmania's memory. It is then converted to a suitable viewing format, not just for people to be able to access easily, but also for long-term preservation. In the 1990s, the archives used a Telesyn process to create these analogue tape formats for the film. At the time, the known mastering formats in the industry included Betacam and Umatic. Once we have a suitable viewing copy, archivists like Jill create a description for the film on our catalogue. As with all records, the archivist also records its provenance, that is, where it came from, who created it and how it was used. This information is also used to create the catalogue from which people can access the films. Telecinning of films these days is outsourced. The resultant digital files are sent to our Hobart office, where our digital services officer, Ron, checks and uploads them for secure storage. We now use digital formats because later research has found that videotapes are not a stable and long life format. We are also migrating our legacy collection of Betacamp and Umatic Masters to a digital format. We can see Ron doing this process in-house and it is the same one we use for video formats donated to the archives. And finally, where copyright and deposit agreements permit, we also use both YouTube and our online catalogue to share our film collections with the world. Thank you for watching.